Would a World War II era fighter be able to go toe to toe with the most advanced fighters of today? The answer might just surprise you. But before we get into the ultimate conflict of old and new, let's take a look at what each aircraft is bringing to the table. First up, the P-51 Mustang. The P-51 Mustang is a veteran of the air. It was widely considered one of the best fighters of its time. The aircraft boasts a sleek design, heavy armament, superb handling, and a powerful Rolls-Royce Merlin engine in its impressive and frankly beautiful airframe. It has a top speed of over 400 miles per hour, superb aerodynamics, and excellent visibility, all of which make it an incredibly formidable aircraft to face. The P-51's vital statistics aside, there is another reason we have chosen this venerable aircraft for this matchup. The aircraft has tasted victory in the past. It was one of the few Allied aircraft to actually knock some of the first jets, the ME-262, out of the air. The P-51 also served in various post-war theaters, proving its worth against various Soviet jets of the 1950s. But these were just fledgling jet aircraft compared to the fourth, fifth, and even sixth generation jet planes of our modern age. Could the P-51 do it again today? Let's take a look at what it is up against. The F-35 is one of the most advanced and expensive aircraft to ever take to the skies. The stealth fighter has a suite of onboard technologies that help make it near invisible to electronic sensors. Armed with racks of missiles and a 0.98 inch cannon, it can deliver death to combatants in the air and on the ground long before you even know you're in danger. And be under no illusions that heat-seeking and radar-guided missiles could find and track piston-engined aircraft like a P-51. When compared to the P-51, the F-35 is much faster, with a top speed of around 1,200 miles per hour, but it's less maneuverable on the turn if it can get close enough. All its stealth capability cannot hide it from the vigilant eyes of an experienced P-51 pilot. Since using heat-seeking or radar-tracking missiles is a bit of an unfair advantage here, we'll disable those on the F-35 for this imaginary dogfight. Three, two, one, engage! The P-51 Mustang is out, but why? Dogfights are usually won long before the downed aircraft knows what hit it. Much like shark attacks, the prey aircraft has little to no chance to avoid its fate. Since the F-35 has a suite of sophisticated sensors and stealth tech, it will spot the P-51 on its long-range sensors way before the P-51 can eyeball the F-35. This, in the end, will be the ultimate deciding factor. Using this enormous advantage, the F-35 will be able to stalk the P-51 outside of visual range to get itself into the perfect position to spring an attack. Then, using its superior speed, it can close the distance fast until it gets into gun range. The F-35 also has computer-aided aiming systems that will let its pilot unleash a devastating and highly accurate volley of shells onto the P-51 on the first strafing run. The P-51 pilot will only know the F-35 was there when the shells begin to riddle the beautiful aircraft with holes. While the P-51 was a superb aircraft in its day, Jet technology has simply advanced too much and too far for even this jet killer to stand a chance today. But what do you think? Should the F-35 perform a victory role 